Hello, this is Funazone and Casper CK. And today we'll get some important news about 1.8. Some that I post on Minecraft Wiki, some of you may know it, but still we got some of the important news for all that doesn't search on the Minecraft Wiki as often. So, Casper CK, what is it? We got some new mobs and including there there's Dragon, Fish, Pigman, Silverfish and the new thing, Enderman. Yes. And it looks very interesting, and he looks very scary. And it says the Enderman is a mob that will be introduced in version 1.8, so it is definitely in it. it will be included. There's no secrets and all that stuff. Yeah, he already got he already got the skins and all yep. that. And it says that Enderman are de departed as three meters tall, black creatures with long, with long arms and legs. They also have the ability to pick up and move blocks around. They're generally peaceful. If you look at them or place your cursor directly all over them, they freeze, stare back at you, and become hostile. They stay frozen as you long as you keep looking at them. So that means you can run away and look at them. But if you but when you look away, they quickly run towards you. If they're long distance away, they will teleport several times into close enough to reach you. So that means basically uh, or they will only teleport to somewhere you can see. Enderman can teleport about once per second. So that could mean that if you're in a house and he's still following you, he could teleport into your house. So that means you can't actually flee from him. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty good because then he is the only mob that can get into your house. Yeah, it's very good. So let's see this screenshot edit to be brighter. As you can see, they are a little scary. Seriously, the long arms, three meters tall, and all that stuff. And I think the l that little one over there, yeah, looks like a squid. Yeah, they look like squids, kind yeah. of a little bit, just a little bit uh, scarier. So this Enderman will be very interesting to fight with because you can't really run away if you can teleport to you. So that's very hey, nice. Look, the name Enderman is a. Uh, Subtle reference to the popular internet phenomenon Slenderman. Uh -huh. Nice, good ending. And also, if you have a pumpkin on your head and you look at him, you can't. You can't actually. It, it is meant as as because a pumpkin is actual a mask. So if you have it, he can actually see that you're looking at. Him. So you can look at him and turn away, and then he will not attack because you can't see that you're looking at him. So that was Enderman. And maybe he's gonna add uh, or add the Scylla fish, but it will not be as uh, it was added in the one point beta 1.7. But he, I mean, maybe it will add it in 1.8. These features will include in the future update. Maybe 1.8, maybe 1.9 on full release. But definitely, he's gonna be Pikmin. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and he's used in. Uh, what it's called the let's see NPCs villages which will be added in 1.8 could also mean that Pigman will be added as the NPCs who live in that village so that's very nice if only they can fight yeah so that was basically the mobs I don't think dragon is uh, very the, these features will be included in future update I don't think it will be including 1.8 it would be big very big so that was the monsters let's go to the blocks yeah so the plan these are planned most of them are gonna be added into 1.8 like maybe lantern will be updated in 1.8 but it is just or maybe it will be in a Halloween update we don't know yet yeah the next Halloween update and it says, with the addition of land, the torches will flicker out and must be relit with a flint of steel. The land will serve as a permanent source of light, according to Notch. When the update occurs, all torches placed on the map, in the inventory, and chest prior to the upper will be converted to lanterns. To do this, the lanterns will use the former block ID of torches along with reskin. So it's very good, so you can't have your torches lit up forever that gives a little difficulty when you're searching caves. So now let's go all over to Huge Mushroom. 
which we as actually saw in a picture of 1.8. The huge mushroom is planned naturally, a curing structure will be added in future versions, possibly beta 1.8. And it will. Yeah. Huge mu mushrooms will appear in a new biome, and they won't appear in the forest or other biomes unless they plan planted. So we can actually plant them. Maybe farm them even. Yeah, but you need a very big farm for that. <laughs> yeah. It looks like trees, as I said, because they look very big. Yeah. Maybe that red one, if it's poison, that would cool, so you lose health over time. So let's go to just go back here, go down here, and now we see the stone breaks. There is uh, two types of it, cracked and mossy. mossy. So that basically means it's it's a little big bit of like stone, block and cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. I just think it's like cobblestone, only that. Yeah with a new texture, maybe darker or lighter. Yeah, we don't know yet. Nope, but it will be updated in 1.8. And then there's cracked, which looks like cobblestone. Yeah. And it's also, as you can see, cracked stone block is a new block type that will be included in the 1.8 beta update. It really looks nice. Maybe finally some new blocks. So we also got mossy. Looks really cool. It looks a little bit cooler than mossy cobblestone. Yeah, but I just think that mossy stone brick is. I don't want that for my dungeon. <laughs> no, but it maybe be some different dungeons. Yeah, maybe randomly. And now we also see iron bars, which is like a cage. I don't know what we can use them for actually. But if we just take a little, little picture here, it can maybe you be used for dungeons the new dungeons yeah which, I don't know what we could use the block for maybe we some can use it for a cell in a yeah something so it's not as special but it's very cool of course and it will pause some addition to the 1.8 adventure update now let's look at melon that's very cool we got some new food yeah Melons are planned and confirmed future to be added to Minecraft 1.8 Adventure Update. And why will it be added? Because he said more farming options. And the behavior of this, basically the behavior how it grows and all that stuff. Melons have a central steam that slowly grows until it reaches its maximum size. At, w at which point the melon will randomly spawn a fruit next to it if there isn't one already there. So that really, really looks cool. And melons were first revealed in an IGN interview with Notch. More farming options, more food to eat. Maybe it's like cake. Maybe you can you maybe you can eat some small parts of it and get health. Yeah, that would be cool. Or place them on tables. <laughs> and, and then the new glass bay. This is very interesting. This is gonna that may be released in 1.8 but it is kind of glass like glass but it's just a little like if you can see here just half like a little piece of like glass, glass that is cut yeah so you can see here it looks very cool to have it's like fences it stands in the middle of the block yep and he has also confirmed the glass panes cannot be placed horizontally but we m they may change that it will not replace the actual glass block, so you make it new. But I think this looks cooler than the actual glass, the glass block. But we'll find out and see. Yeah, and it has the same behavior as fences, as I told you before. Did you? Yeah. Can't remember. So, is there anything new? Oh May uh, no. Maybe he's gonna change the, un as he, you see, unused sponge which we actually maybe can use, I don't know and log chests and cup web the web of spider, maybe he's gonna add that into dungeons or something yeah that would be cool yeah and actually he walks slower in that so that is very cool alright everyone, thanks for watching our video on updates for 1.8 bye bye, subscribe, comment, like, goodbye